Good evening, everyone. I didn't really have time to prepare for this speech because I was really busy with a real-time crisis. I won't uh, go into details about my problem, but I would like to share with you a simple message. Failure is normal. It does not matter what failure does to you. It matters what's your response to failure. If failure can make you a smarter, stronger, more loving, empathic, humble, grateful, and genuine human being. I'm glad to be here to share with you some of my stories, what I've been through. After my study in China, I would like to, uh, I wanted to study, continue my study in ETH Zurich because it's the best school in the world. Although I had a admission letter early on, my visa is rejected for four times. The first time is because of the language condition, which I had to fulfill. The admission, uh, immigration office said, only studying language in Switzerland is not a necessary reason to apply visa, rejection. So I went to Germany and studied in Goethe Institute to receive the Zentrale Oberstufenprüfung, which, which is a certificate with which I could teach German language in any college in the world. Then I applied again, uh, again rejection. This time it's because I didn't have a bank account in a Swiss bank. Without a, uh, without a visa, I cannot uh, open a bank account. Uh, I complained about my situation and the other side said, uh, Madame, I don't really understand what your needs, but you can come to our office in the afternoon. So I went. I realized it was the president who picked up the phone during lunch break while the others were gone. He listened about my problem quietly and said, uh, we are corporate banking, we don't offer service for individuals. But I was really young. I had no idea about corporate banking. I thought it was a minimal request. I said, I just need a student account. He said, OK, let me see. One week later, and he called me back and said he tried everything. Unfortunately, impossible. I said, I said, no problem, thank you anyway. And uh, he said, but I realized there is one solution that a um, Swiss citizen can guarantee an entry uh, for a for foreigner for one time. But I have to declare my wealth or tax a lot of work. I could do that for you. I said, really? He said, yes but do not make fire or break into others' house. Otherwise, I have to pay all that. I said, of course not. No, 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 no. So he helped me with the bank account. Then applied third time, rejection. Fourth time, rejection. I spare you the details. At the end, the consul at that time, he wrote a long letter to the uh, immigration office. Uh, he told me later on, he wrote, why is this so difficult for a Chinese student to study in Switzerland? Thanks to these gorgeous people, I could finally begin my study. Most of them became my close friends later on. I lost contact with this banker. 16 years later, I found him again in LinkedIn, and we organized a lunch to get to know each other. He's, he asked me, have you always tried to search for me? I said, yes. He said, why? I said, first, I want to thank you face to face, which I never had the chance. Second, whenever I have a problem or difficulties, I told myself I have to make it through so that one day when you see me again, you know you didn't help the wrong person. There were not many students in the campus uh, at my time. 
not many Chinese. One year later, another Chinese guy came to study. I asked him, how did you get your visa? He said he called, uh, he called the immigration office 284 times. Every time, one hour debate. At the end, they said they will give him the visa. Please leave them alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after the school in ETH, I went back to Shanghai and set, set up my own practice. Ten years later, I had the intention to expand in Zurich, Switzerland. All my friends were cynical about it. There are enough Swiss architects. This is the highest competition here. Who needs a Chinese architect? But I was thinking, well, I just open an office, register a company, and see what's going to happen. And again, I realized it was not that simple. As a foreigner from third country, I have to create five jobs within two years. Otherwise, kick out of Canton Zurich. I still remember the day uh, the officer who hand over me the permit B, he was teasing me and said, congratulations, he, um, congratulations for your B permit. You should have chosen an easier way. I was confused. Is there an easier way? He said, of course, marry a Swiss guy, and uh, you get your house, your dog, and your permit. I said, now I have the permit B, so I can marry any foreigner or anyone I want, right? He said, yes, that's true. So now I can share with you such stories and laugh about it. But I do remember there were so many tearful nights because it's normal. Failure is normal. I still remember the um, two weeks ago, uh, as I just ran into the crisis, which I mentioned in the beginning. In the night, one o'clock, I couldn't fall asleep. I texted to a few of my powerful clients and asked for help or advices. One of them called me back immediately. I, and uh, he asked what happened. I said, blah, blah, and etc. He said, first, don't panic. Listen, he said, there are two kinds of people in the world, successful people and not that successful people. Successful people think failure is normal. Not that successful people think failure is a problem. But they didn't know only through failure you can learn how to solve the problem. When you become the person who can solve more and more difficult problems better and better, how come you are not successful? When failure happens, successful people check first outside. Is this really what the society needs? Or does this create value for the others? If you verify the situation, if you still believe it is, then you know it's just the process. Not that successful people think the other people are the problem. And uh, even if you fail this time, you can still reinvent yourself and come back. Sorry, I'm a little bit sentimental. <laughs> yes. Let's do not misunderstand uh, the meaning of su success. For me, success is not material or social status. For me, success is find out who you love, what you love, be in that love, make it happen, and share your love with the others. Only this way you can feel alive, both in work and in life. Such kind of success is much more profound and success, uh, sustainable. A scientist has asked me once, how much chance for success? What do you think? I thought 90%. He said, no, 100%. Because you just keep trying what you keep trying and until you succeed. I shared this story with a Chinese client. He laughed about it and he said, then we must live a really long life. 
So this is the most important message today. Stay healthy and I wish you longevity. Thank you.